And welcome to this week's episode of the Big Eyes Podcast. We are back after a week hiatus. We're on our Shonen Jump shit right now. That's what we're, we're on our Shonen Jump. Y'all may not, listen, we just dropping what we want to drop now. So if they want to do that, that's what we're going to do. So, <laughs> but welcome back, man. This is the Big Eyes Podcast, as always. I am LJ. AD, how you feeling today, my man? I'm feeling good, even though we came back and shown the jumpers on break this week themselves. Oh, man, they, yes, that's what, man. See what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, I don't know why they they just on this wild inconsistent schedule. I mean, granted, COVID I, is the big reason, but end of the day, I need my chapters, dog. End of the day, I need my chapters. Yeah, exactly. But it's good. Um, it's good though, man. It's you know, we we still gonna do what we gotta do. You know, we still enjoy what we what we reading, you know. Yeah, Everything's good. I mean I mean, I guess, I guess, you know, Shonen, Shonen got a lot going on in the house right now. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, as we have figured out in the past couple, uh, or in the past week, the Act Age author um, was, uh, mm. Mm. he was, he was, um, you know what I'm saying? He, he was moving very different. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you he got- I look at that man a little side eye now. Yeah, just like, um, so if you haven't known, uh, the, the reports have came out that uh, Tatsuo Masuki, the, the writer for Act Age, was um, was arrested for acting indecently towards a minor. And acting indecently means, uh, you know, he was, he was on some just inappropriate, not okay things happening. Um, you know, I... You know, act age, act age gets, you know, that gets chopped. I have not seen, like, Shonen Jump was so on top of that shit. Like, it was literally, like, <laughs> the news came out, and, like, two days later, they're like, act age is done. Like, we're, we're, we're completely done with everything it. For act, they, ev- everything for act age got shut down. They had plays in production. I'm pretty sure they had, like, a, I'm pretty sure they had an anime in the works, but all act age related content got shut down. But you know how fast you got to do, you know how fast you got to shut down some shit where it's supposed to literally update the chapters in like two days and then you see on the app, no, it's, it, there's no update dates anymore. Like, Can it's you just, even, hold on, we, I'm about to go into the app now. Can you even find it? Is the, is the yes. real, oh, it's still on you, there? It's still, it's still there. It's 122 chapters, but there's no more, you know how it says like, New chapter coming ten days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's no more of that. No, no, nothing, nothing. They're done. You know, it's you know, it's really crazy just because you know this isn't the first time this has happened at all, and like you know, it, it's crazy because it's not the first time it's happened, but person each person beforehand. I mean, Rooney Kinchin, even the dude that yeah. wrote Tariko, they both they they both got a chance again. Like, yeah. you know, they get, you know, after, you know, these are fairly recent things that have happened. Like the Rooney Kitchen author, his is like 2017 when he got bumped with, you know, yeah. uh, underage things. And he just, he was back writing what, I think last year or like back working on a project like last year. So it's, you know, it's crazy to think, man, because, you know, for me personally, I, these are like, these are like unforgivable offenses. In yeah. a sense, like you know, we're dealing with minors here. We're dealing with these things, and the fact that a lot of this stuff gets just swept under the rug, and I didn't even say swept under the rug, but the fact that it's kind of like this, people are going to end up forgetting, or people are going to end up being like, you know what, like it's okay, like a couple years later, and then they, you know, they they get their shot again. You know, it, it's weird to me. You know, it, it's very weird to me. And granted, like we're we're dealing with two, I don't want to say cultures here, but like you know, we're doing we're dealing yeah. with two different kind of. No outlooks are like you know looks on these things you know, and I, I just it's crazy. It, I mean, it's just some crazy news happening for something that was you know act age was, was coming up. It was definitely coming up, uh, and for everything to just get completely just shut down immediately is just is wild. But definitely, yeah, listen, man, it, it deserved the axe. It deserved the axe. Yeah, it it but it, it to me it, it for the writer himself like it's sad that it had to go because you know the illustrator it, it was two separate people it's the author and the illustrator the author got uh act like got arrested but the illustrator is somebody else completely and it's kind of sad that you know because of your partner who you've been working with this uh project off with for so long and for so many different things and you gotta stop your bag because of them like you know oh, how, i didn't, you I know, didn't how know much, that i didn't yeah, know that he yeah. wasn't illustrating the whole thing too 
Yeah, it's somebody else. It's a um. So it's kind of crazy how one person can stop everybody's bag just from like from what you did, and it's it's sad that it had to work out that way. But hopefully, you know, the illustrator can find some new work. I've been trying to say like, bro, can we get the if the, since since I found out that it was the illustrator who didn't um who wasn't a part of the whole situation i was like shit can we get this person to like draw for hunter hunter because you know i mean man listen man <laughs> listen you need you need something bro hey man get, hey man they need to give him a job asap because like you said that is that i mean i didn't even think about that aspect of like he really did homie dirty yes like you know what i'm saying like bro like you out here living wild you living doing all these things not even i mean granted it's wrong but it's like you're not even thinking about the person you're working with and how this is gonna affect yes. them if you get bumped. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, for everybody that you're for everybody, with. you know, all that whole team is like now probably just like, well, I don't know, like what are we about to do, you know? Exactly. And, you know, at the age, this act uh you were telling me about it. I was about to get ready to start it soon before this, you know, until this happened. Uh but you were telling me like, yo, this is a like this is a, this is a good story. Like, this is something like we should definitely like dive into and talk about. And so it's yeah. like, you no, know, you got and like you said. Everything was going good. Good for that team, for the illustrator. The anime dashboard was coming soon. They had live plays. Like, you know, this was something that coming up. And for him to, you know, be living that wicked and be living that crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, yeah. you just living that crazy and just you just F everyone over. Just every single person on that team. You just fuck them over. And that's, <coughs> that's man, that's, uh yeah. That's, that's just some crazy. But, I, I, I mean, we can't. I. We can't really go without talking about it, man. Like because yeah, it's, I mean, that's some serious stuff. But hey, hopefully the people that were innocent in the situation, something better happens for them in the future, especially that team, because you know that they didn't deserve that. They didn't deserve the the backlash and the consequences for the actions of one person. You know, which is which is fucked up. But at the same time, it's like, can you really promote the art of an artist that's out here doing, you know, doing that? Yeah. Yeah, and that's one of them things that you have to be like, can you separate the art from the artist? And it's like, well, I mean, technically you can because the artist is somebody, <laughs> the person who draws it is completely different from the writer. But like, you know, those are two separate things. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying? We can, they can find some new work and stay in Shonen Jump in, keep their own bag secured while, you know, he deals with the repercussions because this is going to be a long lasting effect on him. You can't easily come back from that. It's 2020. There is no, there's no way to bounce back. I think the difference between his situation and like the Roroni Kitchen guy is while they're both like immoral, in my opinion, like they're both like unforgivable. But with the Roroni Kitchen guy, he wasn't like actively trying to, as far as I, we're aware, I'm not sure. I haven't seen any, seen anything about it, but he wasn't out here trying to like touch little kids, you know. Yeah, I think he, he, get, he got bumped with like DVDs or like magazines yeah. and some other stuff. And yeah. you know, man, granted, it's very wicked things happening, but you know, we, we got to, we had to touch on it because I mean, yeah. it's something big and. You know, hopefully, like I said, hopefully that illustrator and the people who are innocent in the situation, you know, they they find some some new work. You know, they're able to to hop back in it. But at the age for now is uh, it's out of there. <laughs> it's out of there. <laughs> it's quick. So man, it, you know, it you know it is what it is. It is what it is. But um, you know, what what else you been? I mean, we've been manga of the month. How are we gonna do? Let's do a quick first impression of it. Okay, because. Cause Prince of Tennis has been a, it's been re fucking freshing, dog. Yes. <laughs> Prince, Prince of it's Tennis. been it's been amazing. It's been amazing, man. Like I am really enjoying this story. This is that got me now like full blown like sports manga mode. Like I'm I'm watching Ace of the <laughs> Diamond, dog. I got I, I swear to God, bro. I'm in here all types of jerseys on, dog. I got the <laughs> I got the I got my Fila tracksuit on with my. Uh, Sison hat on, when, you know. What I'm saying? We here and listen, but no, Prince of Tennis, man. It's you no. Know, first of all, top tier character design, top tier yes. character design. Yes. Um, you know, even like fits galore. Or you, my little homie Roman getting fits off. Bro. He's the oh most my fitted, god, most fitted seventh grader I have ever met. Most fitted seventh grader I've ever met, bro. Like that, that shit is wild. Like he really be getting these fits off. Dog, it, it's amazing when you see the art. Like I've been, I've been trying to bounce back and forth between the anime and the manga, and like the the anime, he doesn't really got too many fits. You know, it's it's all his uniforms, the sports uniform and the school uniform. When you see his uniforms in the manga, 
like his, all his fits, the drip. Oh the my drip god, is, the drip is immaculate. The drip <laughs> is immaculate, bro. And I think I think the drip is so hard because of his confidence, though. I'm like, yeah. who he is as a character? Like, if he was one of those characters, you know, if he was a little Oscar. Oh, um, you know, he, he low key a dub, but he just yeah. he, he got nothing like, bro, he's cold, he knows it, he walks with it, he talks with it, like he, he's the full package, like he, you know, he really is. And he knows he can win, he know he's just like out here, just like, dog, I, I'm just here to, to be the best tennis player. I'm just trying to be there's somebody I gotta beat, and until I beat him, y'all really just some like scrubs. I don't care what nobody say. And he, bro, this kid is so icy, he's challenging, he's the only seventh grader on his team. Like his, he's the only seventh grader on his team, and he gets mad respect from all of his peers, everybody in the district. Like, bro, when they released the bracket, it was like a hundred and eighteen tournament. I was like, listen, yes. bro, in all my years of sports, <laughs> oh my god, I have never, I have <laughs> never played in a hundred and eighteen bracket, <laughs> bro. What? In in no sport, you know how big that tournament got to be. It's different. It's different, but no, Prince of Ten has definitely been refreshing. I'm very happy that this is our monument of the month because yes. this is just it's been such a breeze read, bro. Like the like first two nights I was reading it, I got to like chapter 40 so quick. I was like, yo, <laughs> I was like, damn, I ain't even like noticed I was reading this much until I like look. I was like, damn, I'm at chapter 40 already. That shit's crazy. Duh. But uh um, yeah, man. Prince of Ten is. All right, I'm not gonna lie, guys. We rushed through that segment because we yeah. are at, we're at the main event about why we're really here today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why yeah, we're yeah, really, yeah. really here today. I mean, we're gonna talk about the My Hero chapter. We're gonna talk about it because it was a good chapter, and you know, we we um, you know there there are some people that deserve some praise, of course, uh, in that chapter, especially the defensive player of the year, Red Rice. <laughs> the, 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 the defensive player of the fucking year. <laughs> defensive player of the year. But but we gotta get some out, out the way because. You know, you know, last night, you know, the, the lookout crew, we had a we had a fun time watching the two uh, My Hero Academia OVAs that, that were released. Um and it really got us thinking about who's really top dogs in class one day. Like who who are really people riding for? Because there's a certain character. There's a uh, certain character in My Hero uh, Academia that that um you know that I feel that gets us too much love. That he gets too much love, even though he's really a scrub. And right now, um, I'm happy to announce that we are we are joined by one of the lookout members. Shout out to Johnny. What's up, Johnny, man? Thank you for pulling up on this. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, for those who don't know me, I am um, part of the lookout social team, you know, getting stuff booming on Twitter and all that. Uh, yeah, thank you to LJ for uh, inviting me to speak my piece on uh, Class 1A. All right, Johnny, we got we got to get out the question. Who are you writing for in class in class one A outside of the big three? Because you already know it's Bakugo Hive on this yeah. on this show. We we big Bakugo Hive, but we know we need to talk about. We can't always talk about the star players. Yeah. So we, we who are we who is you know the outside of the big three? Who yeah. who who are you writing for in class one A? Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of uh, Tokiyami. And, okay, uh, Dark Shadow. I'm I'm with it. I'm a I'm secretly a Tokoyami guy, so I, I'm hey, full agreement. <laughs> Toki Tokoyami is is low key. He's um he's six man of the year. He's our he's he's class one A yeah. Blue Williams. Like he you can get him off the bench and he will easily give you twenty if you yes. need to. Big facts. You know, so I, I appreciate I appreciate that that choice. You know, because the class president Tinya is ass. <laughs> he's ass, bro. I and you know he gets he gets a lot of love, and I just don't get it because what does he really do for the team? And that that is what I'm wondering. You know, like like you know what does he really do for the squad, bro? Like I'm sorry, he he's been getting he's been a, to me he's been a hater since season one. Cause he was always talking trash about Deku. He didn't even think Deku could do something like when they were first doing like the exam to get into one A. And he's just been there. I don't know what it is. He's like a Yamcha, but not really. Even. I think Yamcha gets more respect than him. Uh, hey, li- hey, Yamcha uh, was a hey, first that first season of Dragon Ball. Hey, Yamcha had a hey, Yamcha pulled up and he looked cold. Yes, Yamcha really didn't start getting weak until later in the series. Like Yamcha was when Yamcha had the bowl cut. That's when the things started really going bad for him. Yeah, he had like a missing tooth. <laughs> yeah, right? there, was a, there was a lot of weird things going on. But um, you know, John, thank you for thank you for pulling up and, and telling us who who you who your man's is because 
you know, I, I think I think people, you know, people people just ride hard too hard for tenure, man. I, I just think I think people are riding too hard for tenure. Yeah, yeah, it's you know, it's uh, yeah, it's you know, Tok- Tokoyami have you know, Bird Gang over here. Definitely me. Oh man, hey, listen, we need the uh, we need the Tokoyami uh, dip set. Uh, I need I need someone to go on on Twitter and do and do that for me. I need him with like a dip set chain on or something, dog. Because bro, yes, bro, he he's definitely he's definitely that guy, bro. But Johnny, thank you, thank you for pulling up, T- yeah. telling us who who your class one A guy yep. is. We, yeah. we gotta we gotta rep the set. You you rep the set. He rep the bird gang today. Yeah, need to get him a four PF chain. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah. Thank you so much for uh extending the invite. You guys, you know, have a great rest of your show. Oh, thank you, bro. Thank yeah, you, bro. Yeah, Pull up, bro. Yeah, please. Oh man. But yes, so I mean let's let's actually let's have a good chapter and you know no, this is my hero chapter. You know, we're back. It was mm-hmm. very good. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Same. Um no, but yes, Red Riot, defensive player of the year. Like of course. Who, you know, he's another one though, man. He's another one of them ones. Like, you know, he he deserves his praise. He earns his praise. That's what he yes. does. Like these people earn their praise. They really go through the grind. Like people are sitting there really talking about Tenure, like, oh, he pulled up on stage. He pulled on stage and got murked. It needed help from he who? needed <laughs> from, <laughs> from Deku. Deku. From Deku, who couldn't even control all for one that well at the moment in time, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he was just he just learned full college. It's so sad, bro. I'm telling you, it's so sad because it was like when when you have a character like Tanya, who's supposed to be someone who's he's not the rival per se. Like at, at the same time, he tried to make himself a rival in in the sports festival. He was like, "Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play with you guys." Like I, I appreciate you guys extending the invite, you know, during the little horse race or whatever like that. And then he went over to the other side. I was like, "Bro, you 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 actually a bitch for this?" Like you you there was no need for you to. T- <laughs> There was no need for you to challenge this man. Like everybody, everybody had respect for you. I had respect for him up until that point. Like I understand why he did it, but there was no need. And then he still got washed. He still got washed. Come on now. Still, I think that you know, you know what what really turned me on was was the moment where I really. It might have to be the training thing. When they're all training and he's just running live. Yeah, because everybody else is like doing what they can to like to the, expand their quirks or whatever like that. Like Bakugo is blasting in the air. Sue is like climbing on rocks on the um, mountain. Uh, you got uh, the sugar guy and, and Momo like eating so that like they can expand their muscles and their quirks and everything like that. And here you got Ida just running laps. Like, <sighs> <sighs> man, listen, bro. It's, you know, it, it is, it is what it is. It is what it is. But now back to the, back to the chapter though. But a lot of, you know, we're, we're progressing a lot, you know, in, in this latest chapter, you know, they finally, um, they finally get Gantamax down. They, yes. once again, because defensive player of the year, Red oh, Riot comes real. with the, comes with the wild block out of nowhere. Too. Yes. Oh, wait, he had the offensive and defensive place of, of the game because Ashina was, hey, yo, Ashina thought she had to move. Hey, yes. Ashina thought she had her moment and she yes. just, she, she tightened up. Pressure got too much. Oh no, she but she had the assist though. I'll give it an assist, like because if it wasn't for her trying, and we get to reveal that um Gigantamachia was that one big guy from their flashback when they were like in middle school, I was like, oh shit, like she had some PTSD right there. Like, oh, I know this guy, and he came in with save and was like, yeah, no, I'm about to pump fake you, but I can't do this without you. So, you know, shout out to shout out to this man making the heads up play, seeing that she 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 fumbled the bag real quick, but he came in and was like, "Yeah, no, I got this. You did what you could. I wouldn't have made it this far without you." Like that 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 moment was unbelievable. Like, no, nah, it really was. And I mean, it's cool because you know, um, Ashida and and, and Red Riot they have a also Red. I keep calling him Red Riot only because he had that's a that's a dope like hero. Yes, name. Uh, top tier, top tier hero name too. Top uh, tier. You know, he, they, you know, it's cool to see them kind of have this back and forth moment of you save me, I save you, like you push me, you push you. And it's cool because they don't do it in, I mean, they do it in a way that seems like, you know, in a romantic kind of way, but in the, in the end, it, it seems more like, seems very friendly between them. Yeah. Cause you, very, you, you know their very, history. 
Yeah, it seems very genuine, like a very genuine, like, no, I'm like looking out for her. Like, no, I want, no. And they have this back and forth moment. So it's cool to see him have that moment uh, during that because Ashida does play a big role in the reason why he's the hero he is today. Um, yes. You know, you saw that in the flashback during the um, during the uh, the overhaul arc when well, when he has that flashback and they show like you know that first moment between him and she didn't like seeing him now. You know, it's, it's dope. It's dope to see them continue to kind of play off these things and recall on these things in a way that that is very entertaining in a way that adds just a lot more depth to the relationships and a lot more depth to the story and these characters. But yeah, bro, he comes in, he gets the saving block, and then. Not only does he get the saving block, he makes the saving play. The buzzer beater. The buzzer beater, which just is, he went dummy with the buzzer beater. <laughs> Chucks it in there, bro. Game over. Game set match. He, bro, listen, he, he chucked that thing. I'm talking about 90 miles per hour fastball right down the middle, bro. He said, y'all in good hands. Just so y'all ain't got to worry about nothing. We are straight. You know, and then, you know, after that, we really, you know, the end of the chapter is really yeah. what is really what, um, mm. you know, that's that's the big moment right here. That because next week is going to be amazing when we see like what happens with this, because who, well, because you know we we see Shigaraki who is now you know who who is who looks like he is defeated currently. You know he's surrounded by Endeavor, he's surrounded by Midoriya and uh, Deku. We still have Eraserhead who is uh, canceling out his quirk powers. Yeah, and I think the the best moment about this though is that you know, sh- you know he looks, you know, it looks like he's done. He, he looks like he's done. And he's still popping his shit. Yes. Still popping his shit. On the ground. I was like, listen, bro. <laughs> listen, it takes a it takes a very serious man to talk while he is uh while he's down. It, uh, you know what I'm saying? So I what man, just what a great way to end it. But we we know that this this is not how things are going to end, maybe. He he has a last stand coming up because the fact that the chapter ends on him popping shit, he's about to come up with something this next chapter. I don't know what it's gonna be, but you know, it's it's about to be crazy just to see what unfolds because he he's going through the ideal talk. He's about to have the whole like projection of his monologue and all of this stuff to the heroes and why he. I feel like that's what we're about to get his reveal to the to the heroes why he's a villain, why he does what he does. Because ooh, I can't wait. This stuff about to be big. Now that I think about it, dog, like this about to be fantastic, bro. It really is. I mean, no, there's there's many routes that can go with this. I mean, overall, like right now, the you know, the League of Villains really got their backs against the wall. Um, yeah, Jonathan Max, he's down. You know, he was you know he was legit carrying other like League of Villain members who are probably now surrounded by a bunch of heroes. Is this looking tight for him? It's looking tight for is looking tight for the League of Villains right now. Yeah, I I don't I don't know what I, bro. I honestly can't imagine what's about to happen next because both sides are like at their breaking point right now like everybody's winded you got casualties on the hero side the villains are starting to get shut down and it's like oh mount hey listen my lady she's on the dl bro yeah my lady is <laughs> <laughs> hey, she is, hey this, she, she is out two to four weeks bro yeah like, Shout out to her though, because she's been holding her own, trying to like handle everything that's been going on. She handled the uh, she handled Gigantamachia. That in itself was crazy. She handled like some of the ice stuff. She got bro, like when I tell you, you know, when you first get introduced to uh, Mount Lady, I didn't even think she was gonna be so great because you know she had that little smirk on her face with Kamui Woods from Chapter One, and I'm just saying like, bro, nah, I can't trust this girl. And then she had the whole thing with Mineta and whatever they had going on. I'm just like. I don't know if I really. Mm, she kind of shysty, but she been stepping up. She been stepping up to me. Oh, I, no. I, I put some respect on Mount Lady. I, I definitely put some respect. Hey, on listen, Mount Lady. no, yeah, definitely put some respect, bro. She was out there, like I said, like bro, like I said last episode. She was, she was given the task to to uh, to stop Aaron Donald, and like, what are you gonna do with that? What are you gonna <laughs> do with that, bro? <laughs> but she did, she did all that she could. She, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> for all to stop this man, bro. She really did, but you know, listen, bro. We we give her we give her applaud. No, we applaud her. But you know, the real the real shining the real shining star right now is that boy is Red that, Riot. Boy Red Riot, bro. He he really did his thing this week. So so shout out to Red Riot. Shout out to my guy. Um, uh, man, some other fun things happening in. I mean, I mean, 
we say like particularly just straight manga, but Crunchyroll, man, yeah, Crunchyroll had you no, know, they they are they throwing the bag right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. They really been throwing the bag around. I've been surprised at like how much Crunchyroll has been like behind the scenes, like doing stuff. And at the same time, like also just been making plays under the radar too. Like Bro, making plays. So, you know, if you if you guys haven't seen it yet, uh the Jujutsu Kaisen trailer officially like you know officially released you know crunchy rolls made it you know made the announcement it's a crunchy roll exclusive october it's coming uh jujutsu kaisen which i feel once this first season pops off because if you're not reading it you need to read it if you're not reading it right now you need to read it because it is i'm not gonna say easily but it is the best running manga right now um even over my hero academia is the best running manga right now i like everything about it is great uh to see you know this first season it looks beautiful it looks beautiful the first time seeing you know gojo all that it looks amazing i'm i'm like really shocked by how well the the how well how well and detailed the art is like like they really put some work into this art style i'm i'm excited like it, I think the best thing about it is they're really, you can tell that they're really leaning into the horror aspect of the show. Yeah, it's it's more darker. It's like a more yeah. dark, like solid tones. Like, it, it you know how like cer- certain art styles, like you have Assassination Classroom with that kind of like bright, brightest, like solid colors. But this, this is like that, but like darker, like it's more darker version of that. Yeah, man, this is about to be, and it's coming out in October. Right, it, this yeah, is about it, to be off. Mm. Listen, man, October, bro, it is you know it's Jujutsu season. It's it, we're here mm. is Jujutsu season because yeah, like it, it's been it's time, bro. It really is time. And it's cool that it's coming at the time that it is, especially in the year that we have been having with anime and manga. You know the the things that have been pushed back, the things that have been canceled, the things that have ended. You know, um, it's gonna be nice. It's like this is a big win for fans. Like yes. completely, uh, you know, because you know it it looks great, and I think this is something that everyone has been sitting back and looking for and looking forward to uh, for a very long time. So it's it's nice to to see that we're we're finally gonna get this. The the latest chapter, it was absolutely excellent. You know, we're we're starting to dig a lot into Shikigami and a lot of these other people who are, you know, backstories and like these different powers. Uh, you no, know, this this last episode, we really we see da 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 da. da well, I cannot remember his. I'm name I'm not right caught now. all the way up yet. Like, Yuji, <laughs> you know, you see, oh. it's, well, yeah, yeah. So we see Isidori finally like get you know in full demon mode. Um, no, we you know we have been seeing. I that have seen week. that screenshot. Listen, bro, fast two chapters, he goes into straight demon mode, and this is something that I have not seen, bro. He is acting totally different. He is out here acting a complete fool. Oh no! So um, I am, um, you know, bro. Listen, I'm excited. Yeah, but Crunchy man, listen, I'm not gonna lie. Crunchyroll might need this. To, Crunchyroll really needs this to be successful. Yes, yes. Because Big I feel that to, I mean, Tower of God has gotten. I've seen mixed reviews on it. I mean, overall, I've seen people love it, but I see mixed reviews on Tower of God, especially you know for strict strictly anime fans who don't read manga. I know a lot of them have had a lot of complaints about that. God of High School, as much as they're pushing it, and much as they're like, yo, we you know this everywhere. Every time I freaking log on to fucking Country Roll, they have 70 banners all over the place for it. Um, <laughs> In the <you> anime. Know, <laughs> yeah, I'm from Zaya. Like, so you know, they are, you know, but even with God of High School, like you I, you know, people I feel people are hot and cold on that. So I think like, bro, if they could really come out the gate with Jujutsu Kaisen. That's just gonna be the biggest. That's gonna be a huge win for them. No, it, it definitely is because not only like we have Manwa, which is like in the fandom of anime fans, like it's that niche anime fan um, group that loves the Manwa section and are happy and are watching kind of like you know the God of High School Tower of God stuff because you know it's a word of mouth thing. Everybody's like, I've never seen this. I've never heard of this. So let me check it out. Let me see what people are saying about this stuff. And then it's like it's the internet culture that hype those up. But at least with like on the greater scale of like Japan and Shonen Jump and like officially published stuff, like the fact that they have an exclusive 
weekly shonen jump manga like on on their stuff like that's a very big thing bro and you can't you can't fumble the bag on that like this is this is this is 99 this is destined to succeed like <laughs> no it really is no it really is um you know and it's i mean it's cool to see them taking like you know putting their putting their money you know in webtoons like you know it's cool to see them really you know get behind it and just be like listen we're gonna you know you know we're we're gonna try to we're gonna make these adaptions of these webtoons which like you said they may not be as well known as most shonen you know and shonen jump you know series but they they have a name for themselves i mean listen bro got you know Tower of God is damn near 400 chapters. Like, you're not writing 400 yeah. <laughs> chapters for some shit that people ain't reading, you know? Exactly. Um, you know, God of High School. God of High School is what? I mean, it's, it's a lot longer. It's like 600, I think. That's what like. I'm saying. Like, these things <laughs> these things don't go on for no reason. Like, there are people who like them, but I, like you said, I think it is a very, it's a niche thing. You know, it's, you know, it, like you said, it's an internet thing. You know, outside yeah. of people on the internet, like, a lot of people aren't, I'm not saying a lot of people aren't, but like, they're not being talked about as they're not as big as they're not as mainstream as so it's cool to see Crunchyroll continuing to take these bets on webtoons and these other things. Hopefully, solo leveling is coming soon because the streets need that. The streets it's, it's, need it's, it's definitely coming. They um I was reading about them be officially like licensing it, licensing it in North America, and it's under Crunchyroll. So yes. Yeah, that that's coming soon. I know it's coming soon. They they, they are <laughs> listen. They need that. They need that, bro. <laughs> listen, <laughs> man. I need that solo leveling stuff. So, um, but no, it's cool to see them continue to take these uh take these chances though. Like I said, bro, Country Road got the bag right now because they're throwing that motherfucker. Yes. Big facts. I, I can't. I can't wait to see what they try to pull up next. Like all the stuff that they're working on now, we we only see like snippets of you know. The things that they have in store and i know covid has like slowed them down because if, if the fact that they're putting out a lot of this stuff could you imagine could you just imagine without covid like what all they really have planned and like you know what we could see in the next year like this is about to be amazing i wonder if they're gonna um pick up shaman king because we haven't really heard about anything like that we oh, haven't really yeah. heard, there's so much that. yeah they, yeah we haven't heard shit really about shaman king it's gonna be dope it's gonna be fun we got some stuff they got some stuff so <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, what, have, what else have you been reading, man? Like, it's been a week off. I feel like, you know, like, there's just, like I said, man, the, the total inconsistencies right now with how chapters are dropping has been, has been, you know, it's been frustrating. As a fan, yeah. it's definitely been frustrating because, you, you know, even One Punch Man, One Punch Man hasn't even, they don't even have a, uh, <laughs> a, a timetable anymore. Like they're just like really no no. If you go to Shonen Jump right now, they have no timetable on when the next chapter is coming. Oh man, hold up! I'm about to because I was thinking about getting into One Punch Man. I've been reading a lot of um different stuff. I've I've just got engaged in Ahiru no Sora because of you know the Prince of Tennis kick, and then um I just finished Death Note like last week, and I started watching and reading Bakuman and Platinum End, which are both made from the same authors. So it's like I've been on that kind of kick lately, but at the same time, you know, it's it's weird to see so many different you know things coming out. I don't even see One Punch Man on here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, bro. I'm telling you, like <laughs> once again, the inconsistencies have been yeah. there. It's been tough. It's been tough, man, because it's like you even like it's really hard when you're trying to continue to stay up with a you know with things. And granted, it has given me some time to catch up on some stuff. Uh, you know, been going. I've been going back and reading Black Clover just for you, pal. Just for you. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to catch up on yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen, bro. <laughs> but uh, no, man. Black, hey, listen. Like I said, bro. Black Clover, bro. It continues to get better. It continues to get better. So I'm, I'm, Ill, uh, soon, soon. I won't be there. But no, um, no, like you said, it just, it just makes it very, it, you know, it is difficult as a fan and it is kind of like frustrating as a fan because it's like, man, like, I, I want this new chapter, like, what's going to happen next? And it's like, you don't know when these things are coming and you don't, when you don't know when these things are coming, it's very easy for me to fall out of things if I don't yeah. know when they're coming. Like, there, like, there are times I'll be like looking, I'm like, oh, damn, I'm five chapters, no, six chapters behind. I'm like, I, shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's because things have been just so all over the place, even, um, I don't know if you jumped into the the new series that Shonen Jump dropped was the Kaiju Number Eight. I've I've read like the first few pages. I I gotta I gotta read into that. Um, I know you would like that because I know you're a big Kaiju guy, and 
Gundams and everything. So I'm just like, no, I know yeah. This no, it's, it's it's good. I I do enjoy it, but it's crazy because it's just like they drop all five chapters at once, and I know they're trying to make it seem like, oh no, this is you know they're they're dropping five chapters at once because it's a whole special thing. No, they're dropping five chapters at once because y'all don't know y'all dropping ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's another thing. But also at the same time, like I've noticed, like Kaiju Number Eight is on this weird schedule where everything drops on Sundays typically now, but this drops on Thursdays. I've been seeing that, and I'm like, all right, if y'all try to like space it out where. You- People who have their stories ready on Sunday, you know, you could drop them on Sundays, but then you have other people who have their stories ready on like Thursdays. We could have like this good cycle of, you know, stuff to read at towards the end of the week and we can still talk about it. Like I want I wouldn't mind seeing more stuff like get pushed to different um different time schedules if they decide to do that for for you know the app releases or whatever. Cause I think that's kind of dope. That's I always get the alert for Kaju number eight and I'm like, dang bro, like they're pushing this all on Thursdays all the time. And you know everything has their own dates like Super and Boruto comes out on the twentieth of every month. Uh I think World Trigger and Sarah from the end, Blue Exorcist, they come out on the third of every month. You know, it's I wouldn't mind seeing like them saying, All right, Mondays we got Black Clover and My Hero. Thursdays we got Kaiju number eight and One Punch Man. Sundays we got One Piece and um, you know, whatever else that comes out. Hey, listen, man, sun- Sundays need to be reserved for the heavy hitters. Yeah. Sundays are for the heavy yeah. hitters, bro. <laughs> Sundays are for the heavy hitters, Mondays are for the monthlies, Thursdays, th- Thursday night game, bro. Y'all, you know, that's for the that's for the people who are still coming up because I, I just can't wait until we're able to consistently get things back. It does, it, yeah. like I said, it just it just makes things tough, bro. It makes things really tough. You know, we, we missed last week. And since yeah. we missed last week, it means we missed a great chapter of Spy Family. Uh... We got to reflect on that. We got to reflect. On we got to reflect on it. We got to reflect on it. I mean, we reading Prince of Tennis. I mean, Spy Family going the tennis route. I'm talking about like, <laughs> bro, we get, we get that no, couldn't have been more perfect timing. Too. It really couldn't be more perfect timing, bro. Like, we really couldn't be. Um, You know, man, listen, we get some espionage. We getting some, you know, we get some backhand serves. We get, man, we getting a little bit of everything. We got some dope. <laughs> There's some dope in this Exactly. Topic. I was doping up, <laughs> bro. I gotta, I'm, I'm, I gotta keep that meme going. I'm sorry. I gotta, <laughs> <laughs> you gonna see me come up with another meme at some point this week? Bro, we need, we need the meme because it's, things been too inconsistent. But no, nah, man, bro, that that last chapter of Spy Family was really good. Um, I, I like how they're continuing to just add the pressure between uh, Twilight and Nightfall. Yeah. That, that that pair and you know they they're kind of like unfolding each well not necessarily Lloyd because you know Lloyd is like but she she's up to something the fact that their name is like phony their last name in the thing is phony I was like dog hold up too much it like listen bro it's- <laughs> <laughs> like you playing games right now like you. You, you realize, like, you could really jeopardize this mission if they really, like, read this correctly. But everybody in there is, like, idiots. I'm just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Definitely. All right. And I think, the, I think the cool thing about this chapter, right, is that Nightfall has been on this, like, you know, Lloyd is losing his edge. He's starting to get tapped into his emotions, this, this, and that. But in reality, everyone else is worried about her. Like, bro, listen, she's so damn overzealous, and she don't like, bro. They're yeah. like, bro, she's so they're like, she's so damn thirsty, dog. Like, we got to <laughs> She's like, don't let the thirst blind you. You know what I mean? Like, don't let the thirst blind you because she's definitely getting blinded by her love for Lloyd. And I'm really wondering of who is going to slip up. Like, how is this going to slip up for them, and how is this going to, you know, what? No, who's gonna slip up first, really? You know, you know, Lloyd is too smooth with everything. He's he he's too cautious. He never really slips up. If he slips up, it's because he's extra tired. But like, that's rare. That's extra rare. I, it's it's gonna be crazy to see how this next chapter goes because the doping, the the dudes getting buffed <laughs> from just like Bro. injecting themselves. <laughs> Bro, he man, listen. It, when you go to that panel, I I need you to go to this panel because it is a a great panel. They're playing doubles tennis, right? One of the dudes taking the dope look like is this is not his first time. This is not his first rodeo, bro. He was always <laughs> fighting to stick that dope with this with that HGH needle in his arm. The dude in the background though was like, "Hey, dog." 
I don't know about this one, Chief. I don't <laughs> like, know about this one, Chief. <laughs> so I'm kind of sketchy. <laughs> so he was like, "Listen, bro, I'm I'm not feeling it." Oh, uh, I'm man. used I'm used to my meth. I'm I, I'm used to the, I'm used to the drugs that I know. <laughs> he was like, "Listen, bro, can I smoke this?" <laughs> like, I'm not too sure. Like, what kind of strain is this? Uh, yeah, nah, this the runs, bro. Are you sure this is runs, bro? Like, man, listen, yes, he was like, "This is not the runs." He definitely gave him the fronts, bro. He gave him the fronts. <laughs> he gave him the front because he was like, "Ah, oh, no, I don't know." First dude though was like, "Oh yeah, bro, this is this is not my first rodeo." Mm, let's nah, get it. No, nah, I like this. I think this is a. I think this is a very on on the, on the writing teams. Um, no, the praise them. This is a very creative way too to kind of. No, even their whole mission and just how they're getting this is, this is very creative for them to like join this. You know, and it ties a lot once again into this whole love aspect that. You know, Nightfall and and Lloyd have, you know, the fact that they have to play doubles tennis, they have to, like, be in this partnership with them. They're in these underground matches. Lloyd secretly just being cold at tennis. Yes. <laughs> He's like, oh, I, I dabble. I dabble in a bit. <laughs> Dog, no. You're you're literally the prince of tennis, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> her, her serve smokes it. Her serve, is just like... You know, he was. <laughs> there's even a part where she goes, "You've completely redefined the word dabble." <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, man! Nah, man. So he comes and he's going crazy. Like I, you know, I just I like this mission a lot because it, you know, it's it's cool because it's like, oh man, they're in this underground tennis match. They're trying to get these, you know, these secret, um, you know, these secret documents that that could blow this whole war out of proportion. It's it, very intense, but there, you know, there's those little aspects. You know, like once again, they're playing doubles, and she's like completely madly in love with this man, and thinking that this doubles tennis game is going to be her way into, you know, showing that hey, I would be a good, you know, wife, or I would be a good this and that. And with that weighing on her head of how this is really going to change how she plays, how she acts, how she moves, and. You no, know, once again, who is going to slip? Whose emotions are going to make them slip up first? Yeah, I think the crazy thing, like uh, aside from that in itself, also the fact that they're actually talking about these drugs for the war and everything, like that's on a greater scale as far as like the narrative goes. Because just imagine if the war actually breaks out and these gets distributed to like all all the soldiers, like. They're gonna be pretty. Yeah. F- they're gonna end up being like Shigaraki. They're gonna be some high end nomus walking around that motherfucking <laughs> like. No, but that is the crazy thing too. Like, bro, these are these guys are really practicing like war drugs in this tournament. Like, they like, yeah, we about to try this in this tennis tournament, but really, really, this is so we can drill some shit. Like, this exactly. Is, you know, this is really why we're having these drugs. Though, you know, be a part of this. But no, yeah, this this no, I, I'm, I'm I'm sad we didn't get to talk about it first drop, but we here now. Yeah. And, no, what a you know, a great chapter, a great chapter. But fantastic that we get to talk about it next week since we skipped last week. Oh know, man, listen, I can't wait. Once again, <laughs> man, we gotta we gotta get the wins where we can right now. That's that's really what is that's that's the the manga fans that's the manga fans motto right now. We gotta get the wins and we gotta get the chapters where we can. Exactly. Like, you know, I'm not complaining as long as as long as they're still coming. That's the thing. We we can't have anything come out with any more authors about like if they come out like it is what it is at that point. But like, please, bro, look at your peer. Correct yourselves. Move accordingly. Like, yeah, bro. Listen, man, <laughs> man just just a just a crazy week. Like I'm saying, like, bro, you get you get some good news. You get some bad news. It's just been it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Uh, we're gonna end this by saying Tenya's ass. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna say this that Tenya should not be class president. No one in the class respects him. No one in the class is uh yeah, no no one in the class really respects him. Why do you think they go behind Deku and Bakugo? Because exactly. Tenya is Tenya's not the real leader in this. If they they listen to anybody, it's gonna be Deku, Bakugo, Todoroki, and Momo. Those are the only people that they're really That's the only people they're gonna listen to. It's <laughs> the only people they're gonna listen to. Only people we're gonna listen to, man. But you know. You know, we're happy to be back, you know, even after a week off, but we're happy to be back, you know, t- tune in next week, as always, uh, follow the lookout, um, you know, RNC page, you know, we, we got all the anime, all the anime content, you know, the, the, you know, Summer at Comics is still going on, they have the Yu-Gi-Oh episode, which was fun, as a person that is not, like, super into Yu-Gi-Oh, or has never really been super heavy into Yu-Gi-Oh, it was a very fun episode, and I might, I might watch, I might watch some. Cyrus Man. told me to watch GX. He told me not to watch. He told me to watch GX and not the other stuff. 
Oh yeah, I I stopped at GX and five D's. Like GX is actually very cool. I want to put out like a a poll for like best academy because GX has the dual academy, and that's that's something that's kind of dope when you see like their rankings and how they how they move through the school and all the students there. I I enjoy GX for that compared to like the other stories, but like I kind of I kind of want to do that type of poll. Which which academy is better, dual academy or? Uh, UA Academy, you know. Ooh, the, yeah, we the, got we hey listen, we might <laughs> hey what's what what academy are you going to? That's the that's the that's the yeah. question. You, you know, you going to UA. What's the what's the school where it was UA in the West and what in the East? Um oh the military school. No, um, bro, hey, the fits are cold too over there. Yeah. Listen, might, I might be over there, bro, posted with the fits. Bro, on on everything. Like I, I dig them fits, hey, bro. They they have the military joints. I mean, mm, I don't know, man. It was going crazy. Mm. Oh, we can't we can't end this episode without our kind words. We 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 lost a real one. Kiss anime. Oh, yeah, pull one out. Pull one out. out. <laughs> we, we're gonna end this episode. Pull one out for Kiss anime, man. Oh, um, they they trying to they trying to everybody. You know, we we got to support the official releases for real, for real. <laughs> for real. Know. Hey, listen. <laughs> Uh, too many, hey, too many people got my access to my Funimation and my Crunchyroll right now. So y'all gonna have, to, I would, I would lend out a helping hand. But it's about, <laughs> and, like, Service like, feed. Like, like young thug, like young thug said, about about five, about five people who use this phone, baby. About five, <laughs> five seven niggas use this phone. Um, you know, so but RIP to Kiss Anime, man. Uh, uh, we lost a real one. We lost a soldier this week. We lost yeah. one. It's you know, it's crazy. It's crazy it's, right now. Thank you guys so much. Shout out to Johnny for pulling up, telling us who his favorite class one A hero is. Uh, you know, like I said, man. You know, subscribe to the Lookout RNC. Follow us on social media. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram, where we got all the anime content. You know, coming at you. We got some more fun, fun stuff coming our way. So you know, you know, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We happy to be back. First episode, you know, in a week. It don't even feel that long, but I feel like it when don't. you do a weekly episode and you miss a week, that shit feels like forever. Yeah, it's like that. I, I kind of understand like how people like we feel like that. You know, when we miss a week for of manga and stuff, because it's like, dang, bro, it's been a minute since we've actually like had some chapters going. Excuse me, yeah, it's crazy for, for real. Hey, I'm Man. glad to be back though. Like we we back on the ball. Yes, but y'all y'all know the motto. Y'all know the big eyes motto. Watch more anime, read more manga, drink more water. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Catch y'all next week. Peace.